birthday, birthday boy. Thank you. What did you ask for breakfast for your birthday? French toast, bacon, um, some um, hash browns. Turkey bacon. Turkey bacon. And yum yum hash browns. Yes. Enjoy. Cookie. Thank you. When Michael went to his mom's house, his stepdad gave him a bunch of salmon, some fresh frozen salmon, fresh as in he just caught it and then threw it in the freezer for us. And when Michael's mom came into town yesterday, she helped me can all of this. These, just one of these jars alone at the grocery store of salmon is $5. This is like $130 worth of salmon and I still have some in the freezer. So thank you so much. Bob and thank you Debbie for helping me can all this. That was so kind. Love it. Okay, where are we going guys? What are we gonna go do down there? You're swimming. Okay. We're missing Alyssa. No, Alyssa's behind you. I found her. What'd you I find? I cannot see what flew. So, not so, not so. And this is just a pretty walk. Yeah. Thank you. Although I'd rather sit up there in that nice green grass and shade than sit up in this beating sun. No kidding, it's just too, too far away from that place. Here she goes, all the way in. She's a little wet. Woo! She loves to slash, but when it's slash, she's the baby. Oh, I did so fun, I didn't do it. Come on, go over here. <laughs> I 
She loves the water. She hated it forever too. And just one day it finally clicked for her. So Michael is moving the chicken coop and I wish he would have told me because that would have been vlogging it the whole time. He moved it from where it was up here. You guys have seen it several times. He moved it from there all the way down there. And we're going to make a big chicken run. And you see what the cows did? He cut a hole when he got home for the chickens to go in and out of and the cows busted through that hole so we really need to put up a, a chicken run so we can protect our chickens and so they can be in one spot and um, we've been really lucky so far because we have not lost any animals yet um, but we're pushing our luck so we need to get that done so our little chickies are protected and plus they're just wandering around right now and we have been getting very minimal eggs lately So there's a water valve underneath here that he just hit and thankfully we have a holding tank out there so it, we're just going to lose the water in the holding tank. Unfortunately now we have no water to the house until this is fixed and we don't know where the water hit. Um, we're trying to empty out the water tank other places than just right there so Andrew's going to water all the flowers. We're watering the cows. Um, you're really close to my face, sorry. I should probably go turn on some water in the house. Almost out of water. So I kind of want it to go that way. God, you're going to see now. That's what I was going to say. Okay, good. I broke the valve itself. Yay! Let's just hope that that fitting comes out. I just broke the valve off. It's just an old valve, so that's fine. Heat up the conduit that was there to protect it a little bit, but not. As long as I didn't make any other leaks down there, it'd be all right. Thankfully, we have to go to town anyway, so. Super lucky. Let's, we'll, we'll only find out when I get something back in here. Yeah. I might be able to find something in the shop. Okay. Let's go look. Okay. Wonder when our, where our little ones went. Right here? Ah. They messing with the kitties. Yeah. Do you got a baby kitty? 
have the wildest hair. Me? No. Oh goodness, yeah. Let's go back. Be back for fuck. Be my mom. Bye. Okay, what'd you find, Daddy O? I'm gonna have to go down and buy some no, one inch thread PVC. And convert to PVC, but I got a valve and I got a one inch metal threaded nipple on each side, and that will go down into the pipe that uh, that will go down where the valve was that broke off. Cool, that's what I needed. So now it replaces the valve with a ball valve, which is probably a better quality valve, anyways. and and I'm ready to convert to PVC. I better just get the building over it and cut a hole before I go putting it on and break it too, so. <laughs> the power pedestal's gonna look way better. Yeah. Abigail. Hold this. I gotta go get a saw. So he's gonna move the building over to where it's just about touching that, which means that he has to go back over that. But damage is already done there. He says that he won't hurt anything else. So. And this is all of our chicken run stuff, which we're super excited to get that up. So I have to be on there like perfectly straight. It has to be on the, you have to wrap it backwards or else when you thread the piece on. Oh, it will get bunched up. You did it backwards, didn't you? No, I did the wrong side. Oh, it does. It's tight. Yes, turn on the water, mister. Does it look like it's holding up so far? Yeah, well the pipe's gonna corrode. It is corroding. I'm it saying out. holding water. Not oh. leaking. Yeah. I don't, I don't see any leaks. Stalker cow in action. She wants that green bad. Uh, we're having... Do you remember a long time ago I made their Pioneer Woman sandwiches with cube steak and onions. They were really good, and we were like, we gotta make these again, and I never did. I don't remember, but that's probably gonna spend a long time. <laughs> uh, I'm more thirsty than anything. Look at you. I just kind of jerry rigged the siding, that's all I had. When I have battens over, though, you won't be able to tell. Plus, I'm ripping that siding off anyway, so. Oh, you made them a little ramp and everything. Well, with their big, water. Big waddly ducks won't make their way up. <laughs> I think that's going to be good enough where they'll go. And the water is holding up good? Yes. Awesome. awesome. Why don't you go have a baby? The problem is, is I don't want to step on the ramp and break it. No kidding. That might need to come off at night. No, we're just going to do the best we can. Gosh darn, look at that belly, Michael. She's huge. She's going to have quadruplets. I really think she's going to have twins. She's never been that big. Okay, I forgot to end the vlog the other day. Um, I wanted to kind of explain why it went abruptly from one day to the next anyways. On Andrew's birthday, while we were down at the lake, we got some really terrible news. Um, a close family member of ours um, found out that they have cancer. And so we were really distraught about that. It's a very close family member and I'm not sure if they want it known or not yet that this is happening. So I'm just going to keep quiet on the name, but if you guys are the praying type, we sure would appreciate your prayers. Um, and then on to the next day where my husband ruined the water for a second and then fixed it and all, all was well with that situation. So that was a huge blessing with the total accident in there. Um, but very glad that we were able to fix that quickly. And on that note, we will catch you guys in the next one. Blessings and happy homesteading. Bye.